interest? Was Easy ever interested in signing CMW or uh, uh, to Ruthless at that time? He wanted to. You know, it's it's a funny story. I'm gonna tell it to you. You know, he was like, man, you know, because like I say, you know, I mean, we was all off in the EPMD and you know what I mean and all that type of stuff. You know what I mean? You know, Miss Master Spray, Tidy T, Ice T, of course, but you know, me and hey, we took a love off into that type of music, the EPMD sound, the Rock Him sound. So of course, we was kind of sounding like, you know, Easy. He like, you know, man, I like y'all niggas, but y'all sound like EPMD. That that that's how he said it, just like that. You know what I mean? And he like, I love y'all, man. I love y'all, but y'all need to go to the studio and make some more songs. You know what I mean? So he really wanted to get out with us. He just didn't really have the time. And mind you, we was like 16 years old then, me and eight. So he was like, man, I'm going to put out all this stuff, and then I want to get with y'all. I want to do some stuff. You know what I mean? This is easy talking. And then me, a young, you know, smart dude, I'm like, man, we're going to be old. And old to me back then was 25 years old. You know what I mean? I was like, man, we're going to be old by the time you get to put our record out. He's like, man, y'all need to just go to the studio and do some more rap records. You know what I mean? And Ren, he just kept pushing. He was like, man, just just stay on that mic, man. Just keep pushing. Keep doing what you're doing. And, you know, we got blessed with meeting DJ Slip and Unknown and Lonzo, man. And DJ Slip was our producer from day one, you know, from when we met. You know what I mean? And that's how we came with those classics. You know what I mean? It, it, we didn't have to go back and go through easy because we was already locked in with Slip. 